welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Elkia Wiesma, also known as EJ. So yesterday it's a blooming update. It's the last day of September, so this will be my blooming update for the month of September. And I'm starting in the Arcade Room, as you can see, because I will do the Miltonias the last. They are still pretty, I love them, but I have them so much in, the, in this video. So maybe some people are like, oh yeah, we are already done with the Miltonias. I'm not completely sure, but anyhow, they are will be uh, at the last in this video. I love them, I love them, but I want to keep it nice for as many people uh, to watch this video as possible. So uh, like I said, I'm starting a little bit uh, different. Uh, this time. Well, I did start here before, but uh, like I said, the Miltonis will be last. Well, this is one we always see. <laughs> Pafio Pedalum Pinocchio Alba. Yeah, it's the same story. This never uh, disappoints me. I love the flowers. And we have two currently in flower and a new bud in the middle there. So yeah, it's a beautiful, very nice shape one. And you can see the flower spike, how long it is. It's absolutely crazy. But yeah, beautiful. If you love uh, slipper orchids, the Pefio Pedlums in particular, I would suggest you buy one of these. You have the more regular one and the Alba version. I have the Alba. Speaking of Alba, this is also, whoops, is also an Alba version. And it has such a long, heavy spike that I decided to uh, secure it here give it some support these are the flowers and i noticed that last time last year when it did bloom i will show you the name in a minute uh, it was more yellow with white where it's now is more of a greenish yellow color that is because it does get a little less light than before so if you have this one or even considering buying this one this is the name if you give more light the blooms will be more yellow but I don't have much room in front of the window, so yeah. Otherwise I would put it there. I like uh, the yellow a little bit better. Still love these flowers, don't get me wrong, but yellow and white is really what I uh, enjoy in flowers. Then over here we have uh, this one. It's a no ID, but when it's just opened fairly fresh, it has this beautiful yellow and brown colors. The yellow will get start more creamy, Sadly, because I love it when it's just open. These are so nice, these colors. But anyhow, it's a no ID, so I have no name for you guys. It's uh, quite a nice spike. It's a nice large plant. That is this one. And then we have this beautiful red odontocidium type with two spikes. This spike is not as big, but nonetheless, the blooms are beautiful. And I did give it did give it a uh, did get a name for it. I'm not completely sure, but it could be this one, the Odonto Blossom Red Cheyenne. Thirty five is just a number for my notes, <laughs> but somebody uh, I believe on the Facebook group did give me this name. So probably this is the Cheyenne. Nonetheless, beautiful, and I love these big bulbs with huge leaf leaves. Typical odontoglossum shaped with these beautiful, fairly nice large flowers. Yes, I enjoy those. Down here, before I forget, this jewel orchid. Also an Alba version. Let's start to bloom. Let me zoom in. Let's see if this zoom works nicely on my camera. But it doesn't focus on the blooms now, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, that's one of the jewel orchids in here, this corner in bloom then we have the oncidium katerina zak that was one in uh, was uh, one of uh, my short video videos not that long ago but she's still nicely in bloom yeah let's put my hand yeah there we go this is better i believe nice 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 up here we have let's zoom out a little bit more one to three blooms on my Psychopsis. The Psychopsis butterfly, and I, I, I understand why. <laughs> it is a, almost like a butterfly. This one is just opening up. It has a, let's put a leaf to the side. There we go. And here we have another one. My Dendrophyllum <laughs> is done blooming. It's done, so it's dropping its 
blooms, the little tiny tiny blooms. Then something special, not this one, this one is Don Bloom, but this one. I'm not completely sure if my camera will show up the color, but this is a no name and it's an orange dancing lady on CDM type. So it's not yellow, it's orange. Yeah, and it looks fairly yellow now on screen, but it's more, yeah, and when I bought it, it was more even deeper orange. It's now a bit of a yellow orange, but I, th I hope you can see it. If I had the original one, I would put it next to it and you will see the more orange in this one. That's very, uh, very nice. Never had it in bloom. I had it for several years, but now I have it in bloom and look at the roots. And do you see it's spotted in a net pot? I know it's not for this video, but I have uh, quite some successes with the uh, net pots with my orchids. So that is that one. Then over here we have this one is also beautiful. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Nice large blooms, nice large spike. I love it. Um, let me grab the name tag. And we have a bit of a shorter spike here, only two blooms over here, but still pretty, 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 pretty. This is the name for it. If you would like to buy it or have a search for it, this bloom, currently you can see it missing its lip. I don't know why, but it should look like this with a lip. <laughs> yeah, it happens, I'm not completely sure. And this one is still very being very pretty. Look at that, what a nice size flower. This is the uh, name for it. Yeah, very, very beautiful. Comes from Equigenra. Very nice. And down here we have this uh, red ruby, Odontum Glossum Red Ruby. Beautiful, an absolutely favor. I love that dark red and then that lip, but it is a red color that's wine red, dark red, burgundy red, however you want to call it. It's beautiful. And three spikes this uh, spike there, and there is another one. This one just opened up as well. A nice size plant. I love it. So, yeah, beautiful, beautiful spikes over here. Then my Nelly Isla Orange, look at that. This is quite nice still. Also a nice size plant. Bit unruly, my Nelly Islas are getting unruly if they get bigger. <laughs> this is what left from the uh, Red Velvet. You can see most of them are going over now. And here I have the Swiss uh, Beauty, the original one. Those are done, but I decided to put out a few more. These are fairly fresh, as you can see. We have still some buds. So yeah, and again, <laughs> very unruly. I don't know what to do with these guys. Yeah, some people would suggest probably divide them, but I don't want to do that. I just leave them and just see what they do. <laughs> Like I said, a bit unruly, but I like it. This one, well, it's almost done, but we have a few good looking blooms. Look at this. Come on, camera. There we go. Look at that. Very, very beautiful. Um, let me get the flower in screen, and this is the name that goes with it. See, although the Glossum Crispin variety, well, you pronounce that. <laughs> Fushaga Zuga. Fushaga Zuga. <laughs> I'm sorry, it wasn't completely sharp. Still getting used to this camera. Whoops, there goes a pollen from one of the flowers. I believe it's the end of one in the back. I just touched it with my hands and it did fell off, but they were on the way out anyways already. But anyhow, if you see, uh, a name or you cannot read it please let me know I'm, I'm still working it's uh, the second time that i film with this camera so uh but anyhow look at this one <laughs> i love this one as well four spikes beautiful also from equigenra here we go Oncidium gudio de brug grave de brug grave that's more Dutch, but anyhow. 
there is the name. And then look at this one being beautiful water flowers and they look a little bit different it's the same plant two different bulbs with uh, each a spike but the colors are vary a little bit as you can see and they are attached this has way more pink in the flowers and this was more how i bought it fairly large flowers these are a little bit smaller they look a little bit more like the diana and it's okay but as you can see it's one plant so it happens but I prefer these that's why I bought it because of the size and of course the colors but this one had so such large flowers but this one is going over <laughs> and this one as well this one looks still pretty but look at this it always reminds me of watercolor water paint when they go something funny about them i think but yeah these are still okay but not long lasted anymore they had their time oh down here i'm forgetting one we have this zygonesia flower i think the flowers are going all you can see the spotting but still it's in flower <laughs> yeah i think that were those here yes so let's go into the greenhouse yes i'm back my mic did fell off <laughs> but here we are let's start with this one look just open up and it has a name well it's the parents the name of the parents are here let me see oh. players camera yeah there we go this one has a beautiful fragrance to it as well so yeah for me it's a must-have it's beautiful absolutely beautiful by Leo Dobro it's opening up a new flower and one is going over this one was also in a short not that long ago here are a few flowers there and there and this purple one up here let me zoom in a little bit look at that yeah it's a little bit hard to get all the tags out but let me know if you want to know a name because you whoops I'm sorry because you uh, may want to buy it I'm happy to give you the names also one of my shorts recently Bellina finally up says Bellina beautiful and this one also a personal favorite they are all personal favorites but anyhow <laughs> let's zoom in look at these oh, I'm sorry my carnivore plan is in the way there we go ah, camera needs to adjust yes there we go very nice this one has a name that i can reach fairly easily um yeah there we are i'm sorry for the glare let's zoom out again and go over here um, those are done we still have quite some flowers on this beautiful venda the one with the smiley face look at that so happy <laughs> also one of my shorts yeah I would look at that I, I believe 13 flowers I think that is the most so far and as you can see fairly heavy these, these are really hanging and one of the cakes decided to put out a flower spike as well next to it is my yellow one well that is going over now as you can see this one's still looking pretty my uh, golden peacock look at those let me see if I can zoom in um, and we see a spider there I believe <laughs> but anyhow beautiful a very bright orange which I personally enjoy and flowers as well then we have this one I don't know this one has very strange looking flowers I had it for quite some years so yeah let me know if this is a virus or something the plant itself is doing fine but the flowers they they look awful 
but I'm not, I don't know if it's uh, fires or anything, if I need to throw it out, I'm not, I'm not sure, but I, I can because it's doing so well, so I think I'm going to wait, check the new growth, I did repot it, wow, this one was fairly big already, so maybe some stress, I don't know, but the flowers look uh, off, to say the least. <laughs> This one is almost going over, but the colors are phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. This one has a name, elegance, absolutely elegant, elegant I should say. The white Catlea, no ID, is, as you may, it's a bit bright now, I'm sorry because of the lights, it's going over now. The white starts to get a little bit translucent. I'm not completely sure if you can see it, but that's a sign that it's almost done flowering. This one, this one was horribly mislabeled. <laughs> I bought it as the Delta King Tinger Glow. Well, it's not even close. Thank you to a viewer and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for pointing this out uh, i had no idea while i was filming it but it's well let's focus on the flower there we go it's pretty but i i don't have a name for it because uh, like i said it was uh, abs absolutely mislabeled <laughs> so yeah thank you for letting me know then the why not fairly new on my uh in my uh, growing area let's try this yeah there we go look at that so yeah that was one on my list just because i see it so much on the uh, growers from florida etc and i believe paula has it from hillbilly Argus. i'm not completely sure but i think she has it do i not so uh i do now too and i have the yellow one as well the hello uh, yellow kitty not hello kitty but yellow kitty is in the back there that's not blooming obviously but what is still in bloom is this beautiful yellow birds look at the flower spiked so many flowers on this one and another one here which is not as big and yeah that's no we have another one laying there it's on the shelf um, i need to deal with that and down here is that Ragnelia Miltonia. I just filmed an unwrapping video. And I changed her location. This is the Sturbic. If you're long on my channel, you notice that I, I did grow it in my orchid room. I put it now here. It's just opening up. A very, very lovely one. I really, really enjoy growing this one. Look at the details. It's just opening up. It will be even prettier. But I like the shape of the flowers a lot. But I l l like this idea of a little sort of I Iceland of plants over here. And also a hanging Iceland over here. So that's why I put those two uh, bigger ones. Actually three of, uh, of them that I had in the orchid room out here. And one of them is obviously the Sturbik. And while we're here, this is the yellow one. It's also one of my shorts. It's a uh, epidendrum hybrid, and then it's called uh, Golden Sun Star. Absolutely very, very pretty. So that is over here. And we have uh, some fell flowers in the back. <laughs> mm, let me quickly check. Did I get everything here? I think so. And this one's always in flower. <laughs> it's uh, Las Vegas almost ready for you guys <laughs> but let's turn around quickly oh yeah of course look at this it keeps on being beautiful my hibiki look at these flowers so many and in here there you can see we have even more flowers <laughs> yeah beautiful absolutely beautiful so we have some dendrobium phenolopsis i put on the floor again they decided to start blooming again and then they start touching the wall or the 
are the roof, so I need to put them down here. But my dendrobiums uh, do very well overall. They really like the extra sun and heat. It's a beautiful yellow one. You can see there in the back, again, a flower spike touching the wall. There we go. <laughs> Oh yeah, here, here are more by the way, but this is just opening up as well. This is my um, Sherry Baby Ruby doll. I'm sorry, I need to hold my camera a little bit better so I can zoom in on that flower. It's very pretty, it's more red. Let's try to focus camera on, yes, you see it's listening. <laughs> Look at that. From all the Sherry Babies, I really enjoy these flowers a little bit more. Oops, I'm sorry, there's a leaf in the way because of the a red color on them. I like it, I like it. Let's zoom out. And don't make you guys dizzy. And let's focus on these flowers. This is the purple happiness. Well, that is a very happy purple color. <laughs> Beautiful new spike, as you can see. And my chocolate banana, a banana. Here's a mealybug, you can go. Look at these guys. And we have quite a few to come. <laughs> Very nice spike. And then we have this pretty pink one. I hope the noise of the fan doesn't distract too much, but it's also otherwise a little bit too warm in here. We have quite some sun today. Uh, filming this, quite some spikes. And look at this, what are flowers on that brushia? Sadly, no name, but look at these guys, so beautiful. So yeah, I quickly uh, turned off the ventilator, so probably this is better. I don't know, I cannot hear it now while filming, but in editing, it's probably very annoying. So I hope I didn't overdo it, but anyhow, it's now gone, the back noise. So yeah, that is a very nice brushier type. You probably already saw it, but look at this. This is the Billabong. So Inse, yeah, yours in, is in flower actually, I believe. But those flowers can be quite a nice size. But I did give him a division of the plant, kept one myself. Both of them didn't have much roots. So yeah, imagine if it has a nice root system, those flowers will be bigger and the spike will even be longer but it's almost touching the lights there. And it's sitting on the floor, so these spikes can uh, grow quite large. Quite large. Oops, there's another one, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, a little flower left here on this pink dendrobium phenoliopsis. But more are coming here and there and there. I have a lot of spikes. I'm not completely sure what they're <laughs> trying to tell me, but. Uh, I think they like it, but yeah, soon we will have less light, of course. This is also a beautiful one. It's the second spike, as you probably can see here is the older one next to it. So this never happened. So this one is getting stronger and bigger. Mm, yeah, this has a name. There we go. And drop me oriental dark red. That is this one. I found it to be more, uh, whoops, more purple than red, but very nice, very nice shape to it. Then, whoops, I have my, um, how do we call it? Let's, uh, I'm sorry you guys, I'm, mm, this is so high. <laughs> um, yeah, Snow Jade, there was the name, I'm sorry. That is flowering over here, very large spike. And this is the actual blue happiness. So let me zoom in. There we go. This is better. And blue is more purple. But anyhow, <laughs> it has a bit of a blue, bluish feel to it. Some flowers are going over, but still some in bloom. Fairly nice large plant over there. Let me try to move to this side. It's a bit crowdy here these days with all those spikes. Green parrot something is still in bloom. There's actually a better spike there in the back. And there's another one just opened up. 
tangled in with them. Just give me a second, I will turn it around. <laughs> oh, now we can see it better. Let's zoom in. This is the Santa Barbara. Very, ni very nice flower. Look at that. But this plant was uh, suffering from uh, Fusarium. So it's not that big yet. This is an awful leaf, actually. But it's coming back. This is the newest bulb. Actually, a new bulb. And there is there's the one that's flowering. And this is not flowering yet. Probably will be. But we're getting some size to those bulbs again. And luckily, because then the flowers will even be bigger and m even more beautiful, if you ask me. Then, oh, guys, it's so crowded here. <laughs> Um, look at this one. This is the Shilap Tolkien. Being very nice. So I'm going to zoom out. And you see, this is where I need <laughs> to be sometimes. But like I said, it's a bit crowdy. Uh, some epidendrum blooms left. This is the Red Dragon. Any more yellow one over there? You can see where it's that's done. I think we can say <laughs> done. These are not. Now we are getting into the Miltonia collector. Look at this! I love, love, love the view of this. I think that this is a Miltonia sea breeze. Officially, it's no idea, but I think it's called a sea breeze. At least it's very, very similar. And then we have probably um, Brassia or Bratonia a stack. But look at that one. That's, that one is also huge. But it makes such a beautiful bouquet, these flowers together. But yeah, you can imagine they are currently taking up quite some space. Because if these flower spikes are not there, they, uh, they're kind of still fitting <laughs> in, on the shelf, even though they are fairly big. But with these flower spikes, so yeah, but I'm happy to. Uh, Offer to give them more space, to offer uh, some space, <laughs> some walking space over here because of the flowers. And then we have this beautiful purple one here and there. It starts to going over. I know, but look at these beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's a cross with the Morleyane. Morleyana. Mm. Oh, here it is. The tag. Let me put the flowers in screen and Bluntia and Morleyana cross. There you go. That is this one. I'm not sure if it has a name. Uh, uh, it has a name on its own already, but at least you have something to search for. We have some old flowers here, as you can see. But yet, more purple over here, all coming from uh, the <laughs> same plant. Oh my God. This is huge, but you see all the spikes going in, uh, of course, towards the light. But yeah, it makes such a beautiful display. So, so many. I'm not even going to try to count them, but a lot, a lot, a lot. Ragnellii are probably my Ragnellii. Still quite some beautiful flowers, but also ones that are uh, starting to uh, die off. That is what this one does. It keeps on putting new ones and then the first ones already are going. Yeah, that's, I, I, I would like to have a more fuller spike with all the blooms opening up at uh, around the same time. But yeah, that's just what this one does. And this is the orange delight. Another spike. We had several throughout the year. If you uh, are longer on my channel, you notice that. This one Keeps on being beautiful and blooming. Very nice size as well. And next to it we have this one. Also pretty large. It needs a repot. Pretty large, but it has these most beautiful flowers, I think. I really, really love them. And did I have a name for it? Yes. Whoops, there. I have it, I have it, you guys. No, I, uh, oh no, I'm sorry. Yeah, purple dots, I call it. No, uh, I did find a name, but obviously I did buy it as a no ID, so I, I'm not going to use that name because I'm not completely sure if it is the same. So, yeah. If you really want to know what I think it is, let me know. 
I will happy to I'm happy to give it to you guys but that's why I didn't use that name but uh, I'm not completely sure but it looks very similar to this one and then we have my Clawesii that is this one it has two spikes pretty spikes but look at that flower very different shape I think <laughs> there's another spike here beautiful flowers um, next to it a personal favorite they are all personal favorites but because of the color and the flowers of course the shape of the flowers I should say this is the Angela Barker there in the back is the tag yeah beautiful and quite some flowers on these guys as well yeah absolutely stunning if you ask me then down here next to the purple one we have this one maybe you remember this that white nice pastel colored one and it's across it's from Belgium but the plant itself is doing very badly as you can see it's still there maybe I shouldn't have let it bloom Anigonia steria alba but I love it but yeah I'm not completely sure if if I will have it uh, much longer here <laughs> but this, these are the blooms absolutely beautiful let me get rid of that old flower then we have this one this is a supermarket find <laughs> also I, I believe a Bratonia cross but so so beautiful so yeah no name for it but yeah absolutely stunning I love the colors on this one and these flowers were maybe half the size when I bought it but you can see sometimes if a plant is very happy strong the flowers will be uh, quite bigger these were the first ones to open you can see the colors are gone now so that's one almost done blooming then down here we have this flower and there's another one in the back there so these are the same plants let me see Oh, and I cannot reach a tag from here, so I apologize. But let me know, I have it somewhere. I think I can reach the flower to turn it around a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry for the shaking. <laughs> very nice, very nice. And next to it, somebody help me with a name. Well, actually, a few viewers would agree. I had this mislabeled as well. Come on, camera. You can do this. There we go. Look at that. Being very, very pretty. And this is the name for it. So thank you again for helping me find that name. <laughs> and yeah, we all know this one, I think. The Mill Miltonia Sunset. It is so beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Look at these flowers. And we have another spike here. We have another spike here and another one there. And another one there. <laughs> yeah, this one uh, seems to me happy. Luckily, they get quite bigger as we just discussed, <laughs> if they are happy. Well, a few of the Morlianas are now done, sadly. It just happens, but a look at these flowers. quite a few and I absolutely love them this one has the most beautiful fragrance a licorice fragrance somebody comments and I said yes absolutely this is a licorice, licorice type of fragrance some old old uh, leaves that happens but don't mind them too much <laughs> yeah stunning absolutely stunning and then here Speaking of stunning, <laughs> this one's just opened up. Being very pretty, I love the contrast and the pink on that lip. Absolutely beautiful. Do I have a name for it? Yes. Here she go. Sandy Scove. That is this one. Very, very nice. And my Selogeny, 
is not blooming yet, but pretty, pretty close. Oh, there we go. As you can, oh, I'm sorry, as you can see now. And I have one, two, three, four, five, I believe six or seven spikes, I'm not completely sure. New growth just starting, but you can see in the middle there, coming more, so it's quite, quite a, becoming a size, nice size plant as well. And speaking of nice sizes, <laughs> Yeah, so I'm not completely sure how much Miltonia flowers we will see in the next update. So let's quickly enjoy this beautiful view. I'm so happy and proud of all these flowers. Absolutely stunning. Turning around. Yeah, you see this for, This is what I did forget. It's also quite nice. We have a spike here and there and another one here and another one here. Actually two over here. I've never had this much spikes and blooms open at one. Look at this pretty one. How can I forget to film you? This is Brassia Verona. Verona. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, quite some flowers. Yeah. Shouldn't forget you, of course. <laughs> it happens all the time that I forget some. Um, we have those. Let's go here. Ah, some Hoya flowers. Shooting star. There you go. Mine has a bit of a fragrance. It's a honey type fragrance. Yeah, not all of them. Hillbilly has a big one. I believe that one is not fragrant, but mine, mine has honey type fragrance to it. Look at these beautiful shaped flowers. Blooms, yes. Shooting star, very sh suitable name. And then the big chrysanthemum. It's almost time, you guys. Next update. Well, it's not long lasted, so I probably will do a video on it in between, but we obviously need to see those flowers. And there are quite a few. It, it looks like it's just starting, so I hope. But yeah, this cane is probably over two meters long. I will measure it one day. It's, it's huge, and it, that makes it so phenomenally beautiful. And I will let it hang down as soon it's, as it starts flowering. It looks so pretty. So that is that one. Uh, to be coming, uh, upcoming for next video. Yeah, I think you guys, we have it for today. <laughs> so thank you so much. Uh, I Again, I really enjoyed making these videos. They are so beautiful. And if you, like I said, saw a plant and you want to know the name or you didn't get it completely, don't hesitate, let me know. For now, if you're watching this video, I will be just back from the vacation. Uh, but while filming, I am, uh, am, we are leaving tomorrow, so I'm at the point at leaving for the vacation, but I just want to have this done. I wasn't completely sure uh, how much time I would have uh, next weekend when you're seeing this video, so I wanted to take my time to give these flowers the, um, the time that they need, let's put it like that, to be filmed. So yeah. From now on, I should be in schedule, and maybe we will, uh, like I said, just do an update on the microsantum or something. But yeah, I will have the week off. Thank you so much for watching, and oh, of course, uh, for the birthday wishes, thank you so much. And you may have noticed already, but you sort of kind of did give, give me the best present you could possibly give me. <laughs> because we, uh, we did uh, reach the 2K subscribers on my channel. Thank you guys so much. It means the world to me. So yeah, we have more than 2K. Uh, I, when I started this channel, I had no idea if I ever would become close to that amount. Thank you so much. You make me smile, smile, absolutely smile. And it was around my birthday, so it couldn't be better. Thank you guys so much. If you like this video, <laughs> please give it a thumbs up. You feel free to share it if you want. If you have questions, suggestions, uh, you know that we'll leave them in the comment section. I hope you have a wonderful week. Uh, I believe, I think we will have, it's very nice to be on a vacation. It, uh, it was 80 years ago, for the last time that uh, me and husband uh, did take a vacation. So I think we're going to enjoy it pretty much. Thank you for your time and I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>